I'd like to show you how to use the media annotator while on your desktop or laptop computer. So I'm into the teacher view with my demo students and I'm going to go to student one and create a lesson. So with this student I might um, put in their piece as the repertoire selection, ask them to attend to it five times during the week, and in the description area, I can make any comment that I like, any direction that I'd like to give the student, um, or information about the video. It's entirely customizable to how you would like to communicate with your student. Down here in the media annotator, you'll see that it doesn't give me the option to access the camera of my computer. So this is the time where you would use a previously recorded video. So I'm going to go to this video here, which I've saved, and it will upload. I'm going to go down and just make sure it's saved, and it did. It's in the media annotator area underneath their tasks. If we click on the video, I might stop there and say to the student, do you notice the crisp staccato? I can choose the start time. I can also choose the duration that I would like that to last. Maybe I only want that question to flash up there for three seconds. And I save. Can you crescendo? as you get higher. And I might want this one to last for five seconds. And I might just compliment the student and say, you have been doing great work on this piece. Your next step is to try and be steady throughout. And I save it. Okay, and so then at the end of the video, there's a summary of all of the comments. You can see the blue ticks along the play line show you where the annotations will come up. So when I start it from the beginning, there's the first annotation. notice that I can reply to any of these, I can edit any of them, I can delete them if I delete this one. Now there are only two comments for the student to see on their end. Okay, thank you, and next I'll show you how to do this on your iPhone and iPad.